Welcome back to Life is Strange. It's time to go steal Nathan Prescott's phone and see if we can find any incriminating information. But before that, let's check our text messages and look at every single poster on the wall. Got something from... I think I got something from Kate. Although it looks like I have a bunch of unread things, I think. Um, but yeah, I think I just got something from Kate. Wait, what's the last thing she just sent me? What's what's the unread part? I think it's just the last two, right? No, it'd be everything from today, I think. Oh yeah, Supermax, in case you still need it, Nathan's room number is 111. Oh, that's right, she's gonna look into to Nathan. Kate, you are so awesome, thank you. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel, trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise? Of course, keep you posted. No, you will. Alright, so room 111. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. And yeah, are these other messages also unread? I guess so. Although, given how long it's been since I've read my text messages, they're probably not important. That one wasn't. Oh, that's just, uh, yeah, Max's mom talking about the strange events happening here. What's going on with the weather up there? Justin. Dad checking up on her. I don't even know what that's about. I don't even remember who Juliet is. I probably should. She's probably an important character, but I kind of forgot. I don't know, don't blame me, it's been a while since the last episode. Who would steal cat pics? Hmm? Reward, on September 15th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet were taken from the cafeteria. I don't care about the school books, but my tablet has a large picture file of my late cats, rest in peace. Aww. So I'll pay a cash reward, no questions asked. Please, these cats are my best friend. Best friends. That's so sad. Oh my god, look at the actual drawing itself. Right after the please, there's that super sad face. Those huge, like, Disney crying eyes. Aww. They have one more meeting left. <laughs> So casual gamers, your time is over. Join Gamer Guys with a Z, of course. Every week we play and analyze a new game from COD to WoW, from strategy to shooters. Game on. Further info, J Romero at Blackwell Academy. John Romero. Nice reference. Gamer Guys? Really? Gamer Guys? Yeah. Don't think I'd want to hang out with a bunch of what sounds like dude bros. Apparently Logan missed this poster. <laughs> the Vortex Club sucks ass. Yes, it does. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. I'm here with you, right? Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. Skateboarding is not a crime. N no? No, it's it's not. Like, seriously, Max, I, it's, it's not illegal. Max, hurry up and find Nathan's room. Max, hurry up and don't find Nathan's room. Where is Nathan's room, exactly? Oh, right here. The Prescott's rule is down. Well, unfortunately, that's true. This can only be Nathan's room. So I guess even if I didn't get Kate to help me find Nathan's room, it would have been easy to find. Oh, you Bigfoots. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Gotta be in the lookout for photo opportunities, of course. Poor Warren. 
This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Beta fag alert. How mature. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Ooh, I can write something. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go ape. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. Are you made of copper and... Oh, it's a chemistry joke. <laughs> because you're cute. <laughs> and there's a tiny little smiley face in the bottom right. That's adorable. It's all good in the woods. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bros got a bro. Bros. I love bros. Aren't bros great? Broing out, bro fisting each other. Ah, <sighs> jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Just in case it's not clear, I don't like bros. That was sarcasm. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Oh my god. This bathroom door has been completely defaced. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Ooh, photo. Yes. Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. Y yeah, uh, seriously, what actually made those footprints? Like, was it somebody's joke? Because those are not normal human footprints, they're like some sort of Bigfoot footprint. Okay, I believe I came here to steal somebody's phone. Hope he's not here. Of course it's locked. Yeah, just break and then rewind. Why not? I wonder what his room's gonna be like. Looking forward to putting my grubby paws now over I need everything. Now to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Alright, let's just rewind right now. There we go. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Well, I can barely even see what that is. I think it's a woman, like, tied up. Bondage. Welcome to the boys' dorm. Can I, like, turn a light on in here? It's really dark. Eh, there's a light switch, but nope. Can't turn it on. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole. We need to talk. I'm going to tell everybody what you did, and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. That's right. I forgot about Chloe's run-in with Nathan. Because I keep thinking about just the, you know, my first encounter with Chloe and Nathan, which was in the bathroom with a gun, but that wasn't it. That's not all. That's, that's not Chloe's only encounter with Nathan. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Guide to anger management. If anybody needs it, it's Nathan.
Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. That is actually really good. I guess Nathan's capable of doing something good. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Ew. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world. His diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. That's oddly touching. An oddly touching gift from a father who I assume is an asshole, given to a son who I know is an asshole. Who knows, maybe when Nathan was young he was actually a good guy? I doubt it. But it's possible. That monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. That projector. That's gotta be his own picture. He has right? everything in here except peace of mind. I'm guessing those are his own shots. They're good. <laughs> they're creepy, and they're good. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. What is the prescription for? I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> Is Nathan crying in that picture? He is. Why would you keep that as a photo? Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Oh, wait a minute. Please, please, please stay away, Nathan. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. Gift from From David? A gift from David? Yeah, check out the computer in a second. I wanna keep looking at the rest of the stuff around here. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Dickhead stole one of my selfies. Creepy. Can I take it? I guess not. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Alright, I think that's everything except the computer. And can I look at the projector? No, I mean I can look at the projector, but I can't actually examine it. It looks like the same thing is on his computer, as the wallpaper. Or the screensaver. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. From Nathan Prescott to Victoria Chase. Hey gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as stylin' and as expensive. I'm psyched about going, and I'm picking up some serious... potty favors. <laughs> I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so... so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're gonna have an end-of-the-world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, that's the video. That's the video that sent Kate into her downward spiral. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. From Sean to Nathan. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. 
Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panastase is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when, I, when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Jesus, what a message to get from your father. And did he seriously start out by saying, Your mother and I are here to talk if need be, just make an appointment. Make an appointment to talk with his father and mother? What the fuck? That's so creepy and businesslike. Which is wrong. Talking with your mother and father shouldn't be a, a business arrangement. It shouldn't be a business meeting. I need you calm and quiet while Panastase is being developed. So basically, Sean just wants... It looks like Sean knows that Nathan is kind of a... You know, he... Uh, a fuck-up, you know, a, a troubled son, uh, a burden, a liability, basically. Yeah, it looks like Nathan's father just thinks of Nathan as a liability, and he just wants him to be quiet and just wants him to not make any waves, and I'm sure he is doing and has done everything he can to cover up all the nasty stuff that Nathan's done, because he doesn't want that to get out while he's trying to build Pan Estates and make money. Doesn't want his name heard, basically. Yeah. It doesn't look like he cares about his son as a, at all. Or if he does, not in a healthy way. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. I didn't even know he had a sister. So, Christine, that must be a sister, to Nathan Prescott. To do Bem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you. And your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father's been on your ass. But you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate. But I'm also in the jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom. And the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into... into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the main grove. Sending out good thoughts. Better write back, or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. <laughs> <laughs> she does sound awesome. I like her. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Extreme diet suppressant. Why... why? Does he have, uh, an eating disorder or something? Hmm. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. <laughs> Let's see the private correspondence between the Principal and Nathan. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset. Well, I've assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Yeah, principal's really looking out this for all the students, right? It's like Nathan's mind. Well, I mean, he only looks out for the students that... whose family have a large... 
you know, contributing factor to the school's financial future, but other than that, the principal's a stand-up guy. Oh, hello. Nathan Prescott, All-American Teen. All right, is there anything else I need in here? Is there anything else I can do in here? Please, please, please stay away, Nathan. Oh, hello. You moved the couch. What is there the something behind it? What the hell are them? all those marks on the floor? Could there be a vent? Maybe like a vent behind the couch where he's hidden something? Let's move it. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Cool, right. now it's opened. Alright, Nathan didn't catch me. Doors repaired because I reversed time. I think everything's good. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh my god. You are so fucking dead! Oh my god, he's got the fucking gun still. Get off me, bro! Uh, I, I'm gonna stop Warren. In fact, can I just reverse time? Because this is not good. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go, now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse. So, what can I do? Is it going to be different if I do this, or is this going to do the same thing? Damn. Oh, I can stay out of it, but that's not going to change anything. Warren, stop it! Is there something else I can do? Like, can I just keep going back even more? Let's try it. Alright, so we're back here. Now, go back again. Should I keep going back? I don't want to undo when I wrote on Warren's board, but I can always go back and do that if I accidentally activate that. Oh yeah, okay, so I just undid that. So let's go back and redo Welcome that. Welcome to the boys' dorm. Uh. Wait, can I not do that? Doesn't seem like I can do that. Alright, whatever. Let's just get out of here. Damn. Wait, what? He still shows up? I, I don't get it. 
I went back so far. Minutes. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever, I'm just gonna stop boring and then let's just keep going. Boring, stop! I feel like I'm missing something. I have his phone. Can I do something with that? No, I mean I don't have my I don't have his phone anymore. I guess I gave it to Chloe. Uh I feel like I really am missing something. I mean, can I just like leave by this exit? I'm gonna just try this one more time. Let me see if I can leave by this exit or something. Thing is, I need Chloe to come with me. I can't just leave her there. leave by the window? Can I hide in the bathroom? Uh, there's a lot of things I know I could do here. It, this doesn't make much sense. I mean, I went back far enough that I should have been able to avoid Nathan coming in easily. And I should also be able to tell Chloe, hey, Nathan's gonna come, let's leave by the exit or something. I don't know, this is weird, but alright. I don't get it. Warren, stop it! That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. I just want to pause for a second and say that I feel really bad for Warren. Like, he's Max's personal bodyguard and... Like, he's been beat up, and he's been through a lot of shit, and, like, I gotta repay him somehow. He's been a great friend. He really has. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Oh, look at the sky. It's so pretty. Oh, there's a photo I need to get of the whales. Yeah, I remember seeing that in the collection of photos. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. 
So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. I still can't get over how pretty this game is. Just beautiful. Look at the seagulls. Look at the sky. How did they even do the sky? So now we have to see Frank all the way out here. I mean, I'm looking at it closely, and look at the clouds as they... I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do sky. Sometimes it's just like two or three different levels of clouds that kind of shift and move at different rates. This one, it's... it's moving. It's changing, but I don't know how. It doesn't seem to be just a couple layers, like it seems to be some advanced effect, or maybe it's actually animated. Like, maybe it's a big animated texture? I, I can't tell. But it looks wonderful. Like, it's seriously some of the best looking clouds I've ever seen. I really... I want, like, a making-of documentary on how they made these clouds. What is it? They're not... I don't think they're volumetric. They seem to be 2D. And it doesn't seem to be a bunch of different layers. I, I think it's one layer. I don't know. Anyway... Um, I think I should end this episode here before this episode becomes way too long. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to spend like a half hour here just staring at the sky and the whales and taking pictures. I town, but not without Chloe. We have to finish this. So before this episode ends up becoming an hour long, I think I'll just cut it off here and continue in just a little bit. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.